another day begins. We're here at the campground. We enjoyed a good family gathering yesterday. Missed you guys. There was no vlog yesterday. Today is a new one. We're headed out east in the semi, so we've got to get our stuff all packed up here, get out to the truck, get loaded up, hooked up, and start headed east. Hopefully those wildfires aren't still burning on the Manitoba-Ontario border. I think they still are, so we might see some smoke today. Hopefully not. Hopefully not any fires, but maybe. Off to the race as we go. So it's about an hour or so to work from here. I'm timing it right now to see how long it'll take me to get to work from camp. Pretty sure it's about the same distance as my house, just a little bit of a different direction. Once we get there, I'll get all my information, get the trailer, and head out. Like I was saying before, there are wildfires burning on the Manitoba, Ontario border. Not sure exactly where. It's a few hours east of me here. I obviously can't see them from here. They're far away. So I'm hoping we don't run into any fire today, but we might see some smoke if the sun is still up by the time I get there. I mean, I still gotta get the truck ready. I gotta fill her up. I know I gotta put DEF in there yet because I fill up DEF at the yard as much as I can now because apparently they get a better deal on the DEF at the yard there obviously because they buy it in bulk. So fill up there. And maybe we'll get to see some some action today, some forest fires. It's not really any good action, but maybe I'll get to see firsthand what I've been seeing in the news. The battle out in Fort McMurray against that fire is still going strong when I'm filming this. But I think that they've... Uh, We've got quite a bit of help going on out there. I know the Americans have offered their help. The Russians have offered their help. So they'll get it under control yet. They'll they'll figure it out. They got lots of people willing to help there. I know all of Western Canada has sort of banded together and uh, gone out to help not only the victims of the Fort McMurray fire, but also all the surrounding towns. 45 minutes. That's how long it takes to get from camp to work. 45 minutes. 15 minutes closer than my house. Good to know, good to know. Apparently I live further out into the boonies than my campsite is. So technically, my house would be more camping than my campsite. In my mind. The more you know. Oh well, at least it's quicker to get to the campsite because you want to get there in summertime, right? Summer's so short here in Manitoba that when you get home, you just want to get there, right? Have a bonfire, roll some marshmallows. Make some hot dogs. Here we are, back in the Western Star. Follow that one myself. Thank you very much. Back on the road. Just about to get onto the road, I should say. We just got in here, just got all packed in. The weasel here is just patiently waiting to go. Diesel, you wanna go for a ride? Wanna go on a trip? What if I said we were going east? How would that make you feel? I feel the same way, man. Very excited. Very excited. I can tell. Your tail's wagging back there. I see it. You, you try to hide it. You try to act like you're not excited, but I know you're excited inside. So we're going east in Canada. We're staying north of the American border. So last trip we went down south again. Now is the perfect time of year to head out east in Canada through northern Ontario because there's no more snow. The thing I do worry about heading that way is the fires. Hopefully we don't run into any fires. I know I'm gonna have to sleep in Northern Ontario uh, tonight. I'm not even going that far today. I have to unload there in the morning. And hopefully I won't be anywhere near the fires. I'm gonna have to check out where they are exactly. Well, we stopped here at the Deacon's Corner Petrol Canada for our much needed dose of caffeine. So we can continue with our life. Right, Diesel? So we're about 45 minutes into our journey. I called the customer out in, uh, what is it called? Earl something? Ontario? Earl's Hill? One second here. I have the, I have the name here somewhere. One second. Our first stop is in Ear Falls, not Earl. Ear Falls, Ontario. I've never been there before. Looks like it's north of Kenora, Ontario, sort of uh, along the Manitoba border. Kind of seems close to where they're telling me the wildfires were, so. 
might get interesting. But I called the customer there, right? And uh, he said he'll meet me there as soon as I get there. So I should be there like just after supper or whatever. He'll come out there, we'll unload his product, and then I'm gonna head down to Dryden, Ontario for the night. On the Trans-Canada Highway eastbound, east of Winnipeg, screaming towards the Ontario border. The air is kind of smoggy today, but it looks like the high winds that we have here today have blown the smoke out of Manitoba, probably more into Ontario. We should be in Ontario in like an hour, hour and a half. And at that point, if there are any wildfires in that area, I should be able to see the smoke from there. Just off to our right. Welcome to Ontario. We have crossed the line from the west to the east. We lose our four lane divided highway. We also lose all signs of civilization for the next two and a half days. If you don't count Thunder Bay and Dryden, the few towns that we go through. So this kind of road right here is what we're gonna be looking at. Hopefully you won't have bugs in your face the whole trip. Sorry about those. I did clean the windshield just before, but what can you do? They're a good sign. And just in case, You've forgotten that you've left the West. Here's another sign to remind you on the right. There's a second sign here. Welcome to Ontario. Thank you for the second time. Thank you. I saw the first sign. Kenora, 43 kilometers. So it's actually a good time of year to be going through Ontario. Winter time, as you know, those of you who've been watching my vlogs long enough, you guys know that uh, it's pretty treacherous going through here in winter time. A lot of snow, a lot of icy roads, a lot of accidents. And this is the only road connecting Eastern Canada and Western Canada. So when a truck hits a ditch or when the road gets blocked off because of weather, the entire country is shut down east to west. If you want to talk about actual Eastern and Western civilization, they're actually very far apart. Eastern civilization, in quotes, would start in probably around, you know, like Sudbury, going down towards Toronto. The majority of the people live in Southern Ontario. Not to take anything away from people in Northern Ontario, I actually prefer Northern Ontario to Southern Ontario. But Southern Ontario is where all the people are, and Quebec and the Atlantic provinces out east. And you got this huge gap, it takes you two and a half days, or at least two full days of driving, to drive through the gap between the east and the west. Quite a distance apart. So I guess Northern Ontario might even be considered, you know, sort of like the buffer zone between the two sides of the country. Because people up here, they're, you know, they relate to both sides, you know, sort of in the middle. I think all the way up to Thunder Bay, at least up to Dryden for sure, definitely identifies more with Manitoba because that's, they're closer to Winnipeg and it's easier for them to go to Winnipeg than to Toronto. Northern Ontario. Welcome. This is one of the most beautiful places on earth. Oh, oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Not only do we have beautiful sights of nature, but we also have beautiful trucks with beautiful pipes making a beautiful sound as it passes by beautifully. So yeah, I love Northern Ontario. I love Northern Ontario. This is what the entire place looks like. It's a huge place. I'm gonna walk down here to the shore, but it's a little bit windy, guys, so excuse the wind noise. Stand right out here on this rock with this uh, old used broken airbag that someone just left here. Nice. Nature shows with Trucker Josh. <laughs> do you hear that bird calling over there? Maybe he'll do it again. Do it again! He's not doing it again. Well, Lisa, what you think? What you think, buddy? Nature. I just want to get a little closer to it, man. Just a little bit closer. And what do you think about this right here, Diesel? An old abandoned airbag from a trailer it looks like that someone just threw down the hill here towards the water what do you think of that diesel 
that's not supposed to be here. What is that? That's strange. Thought so too. What do you think of the water diesel? You gonna go in? You gonna go in? <laughs> I don't like getting my paws dirty, man. I like looking good all the time. I don't know what this thing's doing here, though, man. You figured that out yet? I have no idea. Don't lick the rocks, man. Come on. Come on. Are you gonna go in the water? Are you gonna go in the water? It looks very wet. Are you go in the water? Are you go in the water? Don't push me, man. Just turned north on Highway 105 in Ontario. This is new territory for me. I've never been up this highway before. We have to go about one hour north on this highway. We'll unload a little bit there and then we'll come right back down here, go back to the Trans-Canada and head east towards Dryden. So I get to see someplace new today. And I haven't seen any smoke and I haven't seen any wildfires, which is really good. So I don't know where they are. They're around here somewhere. But obviously not too close because I don't see them anywhere. Hopefully we got them under control then already. That'd be nice. Now there's a sign I like. We need more of those. Definitely. We're here at this little pullout here. Had to restart my phone because I'm trying to get service here. My phone was acting all funny. Little pullout here on the road here. This is Highway 105. That's northbound up there. And that is south. And I just stopped to take a moment here to get out of the truck. I edited some vlogs here, but... I wanted to look at these trees. Take a look at these trees. Now you might be like, why are you being a tree hugger, trucker, Josh? I'm not. But I do care about the countryside of Canada. And across the west, forests like this are on fire. Alberta's facing the biggest evacuation in its history. It's bad. Just wanted to acknowledge that. Hopefully by the time this video goes up, they've got it under control. But they are in my thoughts. So it's just beautiful. It's really nice to be able to get out, walk around in my t-shirt like this, even if it is a dirty t-shirt. I was just snapping a little bit to you guys. I don't know if you follow me on Snapchat or not, but uh, I do little storylines on there. And if you guys follow me, you understand. So I was gonna get a couple of those up and then I'm gonna head down to Dryden. Vlogging here. Excuse me. So Dryden's like an hour and a half from here and I can't deliver until tomorrow morning. So when I get there, I'm gonna have like 12 hours to wait until I can deliver in the morning. One thing I've noticed here in Ontario, just walking around here a little bit, my camera's almost dead. That's not what I was gonna tell you though. <laughs> I just noticed that too. There's mosquitoes out. So mosquito season is starting. I really wanna get a mosquito fogger this year and I haven't spent any effort or time into finding one yet. Uh, Jade and John, they had a really nice one. They said they got it at Costco. I might have to go check that out yet. We do have Costco's in Canada as well. Pretty much everything you have in the States we have in, in Canada, except Target. <laughs> Target failed in Canada, sorry. Getting a little warm out, isn't it, Diesel? Yeah. A lot better in wintertime, isn't it? The sun is starting to go down here and the mosquitoes are starting to come out. I've had to swat off a couple of them yet. I don't think any of them bit me yet, but you never know. Mosquitoes are absolutely nuts around this area of the country, especially Manitoba where I'm from. Just bad mosquitoes. And up in northern Ontario, I know it's pretty bad too. It's that time of year. Gotta love it. If it ain't cold and freezing, it's nice and you get eaten alive. Husky Dryden. Isn't that right, Weasel? So it was about a half day today. Drove about 300 miles, 500 and some kilometers. It was a it was a good day. You know, I got one delivery off. I'm gonna get the next one off in Dryden here in the morning. Then I head up to Capus Casing. I got to deliver there probably the next morning because it's about a full day's drive to Capus Casing from here. Uh, a little less than a full day's, probably about 600 600 miles and 500 and some miles. I think it's 568 miles. Either way, about a full day. We'll deliver there in the morning. And unless we can get there by the end of day, doubt it, but we're gonna try. From there, going down to Southern Ontario, gonna hang out there for a little bit and deliver some stuff around there and see what life brings us from there. But anyways, thanks for watching this vlog today. I know my vlogs in the past couple of weeks have been 
uh, getting a little bit shorter. I don't mean to do that on purpose. It's just the way the footage has turned out. So I will uh, uh, try to find a good balance point. I know some of you like 20 minute vlogs and longer. Some of you like the 10 minute vlogs and you know, sometimes they're shorter, sometimes they're longer. There'll be another one tomorrow. Maybe it'll be longer. Maybe it'll be shorter. I don't know. We'll see what the footage has for us. I'll see you then. Anytime after 4 a.m. Central time here in North America, it's going to be live. Down below in the description, there's links for you to check out. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. You know, every YouTuber gives you this same spiel. You know the drill. See you tomorrow.